Well, good morning and welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth but Heavenly Minded. I need to uh, just pause for a minute here. Wow, I had to clear my throat and uh, have a little tea. Well, this morning, uh, I just want to share something with you. I've uh, been going through all these writings by Harry Ironside, and I was wondering where I was going to go next. Well, by the way, this picture is just a picture of an old barn in Iowa, or Idaho, I'm sorry, Idaho. And uh, it just happens to be my wallpaper today. I'm going to move something over here. The Holy Bible by, uh, actually, this is not by him. It's about him, Uh, H.A. Ironside, Henry Ironside, who was originally from Oakland, California. But he uh, was pastor of Moody Bible Institute for some years. And this Bible was given to him with this gold inscription on the front that uh, with his name. And seeing that I've gone through all these old writings uh, by Harry Ironside, and I got a few more to go. I thought I'd pause for a minute here and take a look at Harry Ironside's Bible, his old Bible. And actually, that's what this whole series is going to be about that I'm starting. Now, I know we all have uh, things in our libraries, books in our libraries that are kind of special to us. And I can remember my first Bible that I ever got. It was an old Schofield Bible. And I liked Schofield's notes when I was a young Christian, explained things. But there was a period in my life uh, where that Bible was getting pretty wore out, but I treasured it. The binding was starting to break, and uh, seeing it was my first Bible, I still have it in my library. But I tell you, I don't use it because one time my dog got a hold of it. (laughs) He tore uh, pages out and he chewed up, uh, uh, some of the book of Genesis. And, uh, so the Bible's in a pretty good mess, but I had all these notes in that Bible and I, and it was the first things that God had revealed to me. So I kept it and, uh, I still have it. And I used to go around telling everybody I had a dog that was full of the word of God. <laughs> just as a joke. Well, there's other books I have in my library too. Uh, I have uh, uh, a book that was signed by uh, uh, William MacDonald, and it was uh, just his commentary on the New Testament. I have his whole commentary on the whole Bible, but it just so happens I was given this as a gift when I was up at camp one time uh, counseling. And uh, it just happened that that week uh, that Harry Ironside was up there, I happened to have that commentary with me along with my old Bible. Or I'm not Harry Ironside, but uh, William MacDonald. And he signed it for me. And um, so I've got it in my library and I kind of treasure it. Uh, but the name of this writing was uh, actually um, uh, Harry Ironside's Bible. And uh, the first introduction is the introduction to the to a coveted treasure. And there was an assistant pastor at Moody who received this Bible as a gift from H.A. Ironside. And uh, he writes this article. And I'm going to start off with the introduction. And uh, 
I want you to really understand uh, what a great man Harry Ironside was. He was a gifted teacher, gifted by the Lord himself through the Holy Spirit. And that, uh, that was his calling. And he spent his whole life uh, preaching the word of God and teaching the word of God. And uh, that's why I've been going through all his old writings. I've been picking certain authors and going through them and uh, just so happens that I'm at Harry Ironside right now. And uh, I got a few more writings to go through. But I just wanted to introduce you to this next project that I'm going to take on. So with that said, I'm just going to leave you and I'm going to do the introduction this morning and then we'll go into all the stuff that's in his Bible. And by the way, Harry Ironside was a poet and he wrote songs uh, and you'll see that as we go through this. So with that said, bye for now and I will be doing that introduction today.